Morning, Peter. Joe Rothman here with a little better voice and another walk around video of the Carrera Ford GTS. Spoke to Caleb, our web guy. He's not going to reshoot the car. Doesn't feel like there's been any changes in the condition of the car. So I thought I'd come out and give you a very, very thorough walk around. You asked about the windshield, any uh, chips or scratches on the windshield. Most of what I see here is dust. You know, it's, it's not super, super brand new, but uh, it's certainly nothing pr problematic. We showed before, it has a clear mask. It comes up to about here, going across the width of the car. Also on the, on the mirrors. As we look here, remember I had that video that I took inside with the car on the lift. Anything that you can see from a normal height looks really, really nice on the front of the car. Looks like a, just a little water spot there. You can see right where we saw where the, the clear mask was scuffed a little on the bottom. I can see that just a little bit here. That looks like a little bug. Other than that, really, really nice. There are no curb rash marks or anything like that on the wheels. I'll show you each wheel. As I look down the side of the car, I don't see any door dings or scratches, anything like that. Here's the passenger side rear wheel. Just a little road debris, road road tar there. If I look here very, very closely, right on this on this edge here, I can feel it's not totally, totally smooth. So there's been just a little bit of, I suppose, from, from sand coming up from the tires on here. It's not absolutely perfectly smooth, so that you can consider just a little bit of wear. Looking around the back, it's beautiful. It's got the black exhaust tips, which I think I really like on the car here. Not much to see the engine compartment. Of course, everything's covered on these new cars. That's all the access that we have. A little better view from what I showed you in the video when it was up on the left from below. Looking here, see a tiny little chip. Do you see right there above my fingernail? Just from a little debris coming up from the, the tire. Another one right there on the inside of the wheel well. Tiny, tiny chip right at the corner of my fingernail. Wheel is perfect. And I'll work my way up here to the front of the car to the last wheel, driver's side front wheel right here. Just a little bit of smudging here at the back of the clear mask. That doesn't appear to be anything in the paint. Looking right here again, right behind the wheel. Not sure if that's wax. Yeah. Just like on the rear, just a little bit of, I guess you would call just a little bit of sandblasting here from debris coming off the front tire as you drive the car. But that's about it. So for, uh, what is it, 3,700 miles on the car, it's about what I would expect to see, 3,487 miles on the car. I wanted to show you the inside and the good light. <clears throat> of course, we've got our front buttons here, Sport, Sport Plus, PASM, Porsche Active Suspension Management. Of course, with the GTS interior with the Alcantara, we can't have uh, ventilated seats, but we can have heated seats. Automatic climate control with, uh, with right and left side independent adjustment. Of course, it's got the Bose surround sound system. I really like, on the street cars, I really like the 18-way adjustable seats. So many adjustments. I can adjust the front of the seat in and out. I can adjust the width of the rear of the seat back bolsters. I can adjust the width of the bottom bolsters. I can adjust the position and the uh, inflation of the lumbar support. Pretty much anybody can get comfortable in these seats. Really, really nice. 
no wear showing on the seats. They're beautiful. I've got sunlight here so you can see exactly what it looks like. The Alcantara on the steering wheel also looks beautiful. No sort of excessive wear at all. And I think uh, the car is pretty much you know what what you would expect as something that's pretty much brand new but has been used just a little bit. The condition is where I expected. Here, running here, I'm going to turn on the sport exhaust. Of course, at idle, there's not much of an adjustment in the sound of the sport exhaust. Only when we get on it, and of course I'm not going to do that without the car being properly warmed up, do you hear the real throaty noise uh, of the sport exhaust when you drive it. Anyway, if you have any questions, if there's anything I missed, if you'd like to see, give me another call or drop me an email.